Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for your time and presence for being here. My name is Ji, and today I'll be presenting about the game I made. Uh, so, sorry, sorry. Uh, the, I will be presenting about the game I made called uh, Human vs. Monster. So, in this presentation, there will be six parts. First, being the introduction and the game idea, my game, game implementation, game demo and comments, and what I learned throughout the game. Okay, first, in the in this introduction. Okay, so briefly, I am Lei Wenbao Qi, and I am a grade eight student studying at West Springside on school, and I am a student at my next Fan Fan Qi. And my hobbies are programming, playing games, and reading, which motivates me to become a programmer. Second, my game idea. So my game idea is originally taken from Plant vs. Zombie. You can see my game name is pretty similar to it. And my game, it's human versus monster. So basically, you are on the human side. You are trying to defend against the monsters that are coming to your house. And that's it. Uh, how to play? So by winning, you, you need to clear all the monsters in that round without uh, letting, anyone, letting anything pass through your defense. And to place towers, you need to collect money from the sky and place it whatever you want. Uh, the game process. So week one and week two, I create sprites. I create the main room and start coding. Week three and four, I add sprites, objects, and code for them, uh, replacing old sprites with new ones that have animations and added sounds and sound effects. The final week, I design the background and I complete the code for every object. I also add the theme music. Apart from the implementation, I also have some difficulties, which starts at week one and two, I changed the game idea. So my original game was a um, Plant vs. Zombie. It was something similar, a uh, tower defense game called Loons TD, so which the enemies move in a path, and you'll place towers beside it. But I think it's too difficult. So you can see the code, kind of complicated for me at the moment, so I decided to change. Week three and four, so I haven't got any sprites uh, name or the game name. You can see the sprites are just rectangles and just uh, boring squares. File errors, this is a minor issue which doesn't really matter much, but I still think it's a valuable lesson to learn because I almost lost all my work. Uh, the game demo and comments, all right. Okay, so here's my game. So. There's going to be uh, information about the game. So technically, you are going to left click to place the tower you want and right click to cancel it. Like If you don't like the tower, you can just right click to use another tower. And to win, just clear the round. To lose, well, I don't think everyone wants, wants this, but to lose, uh, just let a single enemy pass through your defense. Yeah, you are going to lose. Okay. So we are going to start at round one. I just put one tower for this round, or else it's, we are just going to be so powerful. And also, this one uh, simple enemy for this round. So the, it's pretty easy. You just need to collect money from the sky, choose a position for your tower, and just defense against the monster. Uh, after you uh, clear all the round, it's going to pop up three things. And uh, you can choose to go next. We try the level you want, or just go back to the menu and exit the game. So for level two, I added one more tower, which is the shooting tower with more damage, but low damage per second. I also add a fast moving uh, enemy. Has low health, but it moves faster than normal. You can't really notice the difference here because it's just faster by a little bit, but still, yeah. All right, for the final level, I uh, put one more tower. It's just basically a tower that stands there to um, block the enemy. And I add one more enemy plus a boss. When you defeat it, you are going to get a congratulations screen. Okay, so after approximately 10 seconds, the boss is gonna spawn. It moves really slow, but does really high damage and uh, also got a very big health.
smart. All right, so this is the screen where when we win, it's gonna show up. Uh, I, I was about to add the level system, but it, it is. I don't think it's really important because you can just click the menu and just restart the thing. And in case in, in case you lose, it's just gonna uh, direct you to another screen, which is the same thing as when you win at a level that is not level three. You will get a menu button and a retry button because you can't move on to the new level if you don't win the level. Right? Back to the presentation. I think there are several cons and also a bit of a pros in my game. So the cons are not much features have been added, like no towers and the uh, rounds are pretty easy in my opinion. Uh, some minor bugs, like sometimes, uh, it's not shown here, but sometimes the animations uh, still moves too fast or too slow, causing the tower to bug and not dealing damage. I am finally still in development process because as you can see in the game, it's not pretty exciting to see because only some small buttons. But the pros, well, it's just simple gameplay, sound effect, and good theme music. All right, so my future plans are fixing the cons, multiplayer, which the original game doesn't have, a storyline, and then better art for it. Okay, finally, what I learned uh, during the process and after making the game. So in the game, I learned how to code, which is just a small part, but it affects my game pretty much because uh, there are a lot of things you can't do without code. Yep. And problem solving. So when I encounter a problem, I try to solve on my own. But if I can't, I ask for hints or I should search on Google. Because if I don't ask, if I just directly ask for the answers, then it's not going to be uh, stuck in my mind and I can't use it. OK, the last three ones are scripting. So it's, it's not like coding. It's, it's uh, you make a, you brainstorm in your mind. Like when you start to make games, you clearly define the game theme game contents and drafting the primary contents and then you use that script to plan and you make a game development plan to optimize your time and product quality and finally be careful as you see in week three I got some file errors uh, if I didn't have a backup file I could have lose my game all right thank you for listening thank you for your interesting presentation Bang uh, Ting I see uh, Miss Fu smiling all the time while you're doing this presentation. So, do you have any uh, advice for uh, about Jing? I was just particularly impressed with how thoughtful and reflective you have been with this whole process. You took the time to go through the pros and cons what you have learned, and you have been very articulate. So, I was just very impressed. I think if you take this framework and this um, approach to anything you do in life, then you will go far. So, my question for you is um, just curious how long did it take to make this product? In terms of how many weeks and how many hours would you dedicate to it? Oh, um, so when I started it, like the whole thing must be like done in five weeks. But like I spent the first two weeks as I uh, shared to make a new game. So technically, I only have three weeks to do it. And I also have schools and some tests. So I average, I spend average one to two hours a day, maybe like in the weekends, maybe three to four hours a day doing this game and uh, also doing the presentation. What was the most enjoyable part of this project? Did you feel passionate going through the coding of the project that time just passes you by? And then the reflective part, like just curious what made you most happy and passionate throughout this journey? Oh, the best thing is I get to stand here and see my game run perfectly because during the development process though, um, there are so many bugs that I can't even get my mind through it. And he uh, asked my teacher, but he helped me a lot. And I, yeah, I appreciate the fact that somehow I put my effort into this game to make it like this. Thank you. And uh, uh, do you have a question for uh, about you? Um, my uh, question for you is about product development. Um, I think that if you have a chance to uh, build that, build this game again, or this kind of game again, uh, how will you organize your work to get everything done better? Um, so, I'll be 
the winding, the like the process, like I, I'll imagine the game in my mind, like okay, so at the end of the term, I will have this game, it's like this, there are many levels in this, um, how many towers, how many enemies, etc. And I will um, divide it into weeks or days, like week one, okay, I'll be putting effort into objects, sprites, Week two, I'll be coding. Week three, adding effects and background stuff to be organized. And um, if, there, if there is, because I think that during this project, I procrastinate uh, pre, uh, much of the time. So it ended up in this, but like if I actually focus my mind like one or two hour days and focus on the hours of it, I could get it all of the future plans done, like multiplayer. I, I don't think it's too hard to add multiplayer in here. Um, a better art, well, I, I could draw and add some new towers. I think it's it's simple. I just need to put effort in it. Okay. Uh, how about uh, timeline? Uh, for example, you uh, have from, uh, a good timeline. You have you have uh, a good plan, something like that. Um, uh, can Can you repeat? Because I, uh, the timeline for your uh, planning everything on the timeline so that you can uh, uh, keep up well uh, everything uh, on track, keep everything on track. Um, for, for, for this project? Yeah, yeah um, so developing this thing, I, I don't really have any timeline in this because I, I just, I, I, at first, this was just a end term process. I, I didn't thought there was a presentation and all of this. So I think that I finally, I only have two weeks to develop because I spent first two weeks wasting time on another game. So in that two weeks, I just randomly do everything. Like someday my mind just think of um, coding. Yeah, I'll do the coding. And um, I just think of some sprites. Okay, we are gonna add the pictures there. Um, some background, some music, okay? Just put it in. There's no timeline for that. Okay. And uh, this thing, do you have any other questions? Okay, thank you. Okay, I have one question for you. Uh, could you go back to slide with future, future, future plan? Okay. All right, here. Okay, one of the features, I, I see you want to add some multiplayer, right? Yeah. So, uh, could you tell me about the way you make the future? Just actually the logic. No need to code right now. Um, so you, you're asking like, how does how it, it? multiplayer? Yeah, this the logic. Okay, so um, for multiplayer, I uh, because the original game you are just gonna play on one side. So on the multiplayer, I, I think our so two players could be playing on plants, or either it's gonna be a versus mode where one player is gonna be a monster and the other player is gonna be the defender. I, I think it's not too hard to add that. I just don't have enough time to do it. So how do you think, how long do you think you can develop this feature in the future? Um, so if I focus it um, two, one to two hours a day, I think I can uh, make it in like a week or a week and a half. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the time for Q&A section is over. Thank you, three judge. And I hope uh, this question and comment from our judge can help you Prepare for future plans. Thank you, Bao Ji, for your amazing performance. Thank you. Thank you.